do you find Geometry Dash 2 easy? In the past, I met people who downloaded the game and beat all 21 main levels in 3 days like it was nothing. So, I came up with a solution. The hardest main levels are the demon difficulty levels, so I modified every single main level to be as hard as a demon. I called this new experiment Devil and speedran all 21 Devil levels to see how long this new hard mode of Geometry Dash would take me with over 4000 hours in the game. The quest begins now. Okay, I think we're ready. I got my monster set up. I've got my will ready to suffer through six hours of non-stop geometry dash. I say, let's do this. And so I was off. One thing that you might notice is that my speedrun timer looked a little bit weird because I tried to remove the black color from it earlier, but accidentally removed the green one. Don't worry, it gets fixed a few minutes later. For context, every jump that can be a triple spike has been buffed into a triple spike on this level because there's really nothing much you can buff on Stereo Madness. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to beat all of these levels in one day. In all fairness, a stereo madness should not be that much of a hassle, but whatever's coming next, that's what I'm scared of. Here, we literally only have triple spike jumps and straight flying. On the other levels, there's so much more. Yep, this is gonna be a long while that I'm gonna spend with these levels. At that point, I was saying it blankly, not truly knowing what awaits me. And what awaited me was a whole day of suffering, and you will soon see why. Why is it the ship that's killing me? I thought I was good at it. I thought I was way better at the ship than I'm at the cube. Ship is literally my main game mode, the one that I am most skillful at, but then I'm not dying to the cube and dying to the ship the entire time. Eventually, I did get past the ship part, but now I was off to face the cube part that I completely forgot how to do. I completely forgot what comes after this, so I'm literally sight reading the entire level. The entire level that is literally supposed to be demon difficulty. Even though I literally created this level, I completely forgot its layout. But fortunately, Stereo Madness is supposed to be the easiest level in the series, so after a bunch more straight flying, I managed to get to the end safely. Okay, first one's down, five minutes on the clock, we're moving to the second. Thank god I don't have to listen to the song anymore. <laughs> Next up, we got Devil on track. I need to spend a few minutes practicing it, because I, once again, completely forgot what awaits me here. Oh, by the way, I'm not gonna like this part at all. I just realized that my timer doesn't have the color green in it, because I was trying to make it get rid of the black color, but instead I did green, so that was dumb. With my timer fixed, the speedrun could truly run without any restrictions. It was time for it to truly begin. For this challenge, my philosophy contains two different statements. The first one is, just keep holding on. Tomorrow, none of this is gonna matter anymore. And the second one, everything that can be a triple spike is a triple spike. I probably should have considered my feelings when I actually play these levels, because when you create levels, you have no idea how hard they're going to turn out to be in the end. And me, having that mindset, have only done one out of the 21 levels that I have to do today. You don't exactly need a degree to tell that I was off to a rough start. So in order to cope about why I was still on the second level, I started theorizing about my failure. The feeling of when you're practicing a level, and then once you actually get to the part that you practiced, is very different. Like, it can go two ways. Either you crash immediately, or if you struggled on that part on practice mode, you get past it first try and then die right after. These are the only two scenarios of reaching the hardest part of the level after practicing it. There's no in-between. I have still not concocted a plan on how I actually mean to survive this. I have never played Geometry Dash for more than four hours in one go. So far, I am 16 minutes into the run, and I'm still on back on track. And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, I didn't want to spend the six hours alone, so I decided to join the voice channel in my server for all my friends to join in and share on me. But there's a fair warning that I need to share. I have very judgmental friends. It looks like a hard team. It doesn't look like that long difficulty. To be fair, yes, I did buff them a little bit too much, perhaps. I don't know. I wanted to give myself a challenge, but I forgot that at the same time I was challenging my mental capacity. The fact that more people were here gave me more confidence so I could show off how skilled I am at the game. But sometimes it also led to my inevitable death. Jesus Christ! Welcome to what is known as the death of my brain cells. I'm 18 minutes in, still on back on track. Fortunately though, with the collective power of friendship, I managed to overcome the second level devil track in just under 20 minutes. Oh hey, he did it. Oh my god, I almost died at 98. I was- I thought I was dead. So this was devil track, the second level. I have 19 more to go. <laughs> Welcome to Devil's Geist, a level that has insane patterns, the weirdest ship I've ever built, and crazy timings throughout the whole level. And as you'll soon find out, I didn't like it very much. Oh. It's nerfed, it's nerfed, it's nerfed. No need to worry, it's nerfed. You're nerfed. Why is it a double f***ing click? Uh, because I had no ideas on how to buff that part. 
any other way. Oh, this is gonna be hell. This ship's gonna be hell. I don't know how to pass this. What's what's the plan here? Like, why is there a PP? Shut up. Time passed, and I eventually learned how to maneuver over the ship of hell. But my friends were really questioning my decisions. He has enough sanity to do this in one go. Probably not, but it's a speed run, so that kind of forces me to do it. Yes, this was a speed run, my speed run, and in my speed run, my rules apply. My number one rule is to fail in a stupid place whenever possible when you're far in a level, and I'm gonna make you watch all of my fails now. No, 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 I forgot. Let's go. Okay. What? Huh? Huh? Ooh, no. How the frick? Okay, I admit, the rest were just too stupid to show. But after a heartbreaking 30 minutes, I managed to pass the third level in the series, Devil Geist, and I was done with it. Okay, 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 okay. Jesus, okay, good. 53 minutes, this took over half an hour to do. Devil Geist is done, now we're, we're, we're off to the next one. So the fourth one, Devil's out. <laughs> I was off to the next level, Devil's Out, and after spending so long on the past level, it really didn't seem that hard. Okay, this may or may not took you more than half an hour. Nah, I don't think it will. This part is what I'm scared of. Seems easier than whatever you just played before that. And it was. That's why I was almost immediately ready to start playing Devil's Out from zero. So now I'll be stuck in here for the next hour. Fun, isn't it? Yeah, I had my doubts. Some of them were justified because there were parts that I was genuinely not prepared for. No, I just slept just on the one hour mark. And then there's times where it was literally just plain stupidity that killed me. What? What? Hello? Hello? Triple spikes? Well, you did not make that a buffer jump. That is just sad. I thought it was. I really thought it was, but it was not. Okay, never trusting a buffer jump or at least anything that looks like a buffer jump ever again. But eventually, the trinity of my judgmental friends, the pressure of the speedrun, and the monster saturating itself in my blood forced me to pass the fourth level Devils Out. <sighs> oh my god, I thought I died there. I thought I died there. Oh my god. I thought I was dead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Next up, base after devil. Usually it would have been devil after base, but I'm not like other girls. Base after devil was not a very high-end experience. Not only because it had extremely strange buffs that spanned through the entire level, but my friends also became incomprehensible beings talking about random nonsense, so I cannot include any highlights from the conversations. And on top of that, they became more and more judgmental every single time I died. Oh, oh the, 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 I got confused. How do you die there? How do you die there? Yeah, you gotta time that clean. You gotta jump early. Yes, like I, I forgot about it. But their judgment only called for my internal judgment day, and inside of me awoke the geometrical Satan. I then gathered enough internal strength to pass the dark part, the straight flying part, and the inconveniently placed timing part to complete base after devil from 24%. Yes! Okay, wow, that's the first one that I fluked. That was actually really quick. That was like seven minutes. Okay, now we're off to the next one. <laughs> May I introduce you to Devil Let Go? Except he didn't. Devil Let Go introduces complete rework of the gameplay, the darkest part you'll ever see, and insane buffs to the ship game mode, which is the only game mode that I'm actually good at. Now, how did I take all of those changes? You tell me. Okay, wait, so what do I do here? I completely altered Can't Let Go. Oh, so you made the buffs. Yes, okay. I, I made the buffs, but I already forgot half of them. This is one of the hardest levels. Why would you do that? Because I hate myself. Devil Let Go had been the hardest level thus far, but that did not deter me from progressing because I knew that for every 10 minutes of focus, I was awarded with one fail. Rip. Rip. I died at 81 again. No, I died to the ship. There we go. Yeah, that was not. If you paid attention, you might have noticed that the timer was about 1 hour 15 minutes when I beat the pass level. Look at the timer now and tell me in the comments exactly how long I needed to muster up together enough focus to beat Devil Let Go. Oh my god, yes, yes, yes! 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 <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
The next level is called Devil Jumper. Devil Jumper is as hard as Devil Let Go, but the thing is, I didn't know that. So while my friends and I are talking about another game, let me give you an introduction to what this level offers. First, we got a lot more incomprehensible timings, then a ship that I spammed random obstacles in, then even more incomprehensible timings, then another ship that I spammed obstacles in, and what better way to end the level than with a triple spike that sinks with the song? So do you think that I beat the level quickly? <laughs> the answer is no, it took me about 25 minutes, but even a 98% death could not deter me from passing it at last. There we go. Okay. Okay. No time to lose. We're skipping. We're skipping all the celebrations. We're moving on to the next one. <laughs> The next level was Devil Machine, which wasn't super hard, but it was absolutely carried by the last ship, which was 10 times harder than anything else in the level, and I didn't know if I was ready. What the f*** is this? It's literally Time Machine. Ah, oh, yeah, that jump is hard. So basically, it's been two and a half hours, I'm still on Time Machine. Stereo Madness took me five minutes, Back on Track took me... 15 minutes, Polter guy, uh, Polter guys took me 30 minutes. Time was not on my side, but eventually I did make it to the last ship part, and I was ready to face the hardest part in the speedrun this far. If I beat it first try, that would be a real time saver. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Next up was Devices, a portmanteau of Devil and Cycles. This level introduces the ball game mode, so it was time to have some brand new type of ball fun. Alias, I beat Hypersonic. Devices merely served as a minor halt on my speedrunning quest, but the ball fun turned out to be ball torture. At least I wasn't trying to deny it. Nah. While skipping through these ship portals, I took the time to think about what it would be like to just abolish the idea of speedrunning buffed levels and make a video about 2.2 instead. Luckily, these intrusive thoughts were quickly shut down when I unexpectedly got to the the end of the level before I could conjure up a soup of geometrical thoughts inside my neurons. Oh my god. No. Okay, I beat it. I fluked the yeah. last one from like 52 and I fluked this one from 50, 47 I think. Next up time. <laughs> For next step, I prepared a gameplay buffing concept that I deemed very special and was excited to share it with my friends. But I had lost the track of how judgmental they became watching me fail on nine previous levels. Oh, by the way, you guys might want to watch this because I, I had a really cool idea for X step. The drop is really interesting. All right, let's see. What do you cook? What do you cook? Wow, so, so interesting. Judgment was now also referencing standards. I was not particularly scared of X step, except for the last ball, which I buffed a ton, and the last ship where I literally spammed random orbs everywhere. And I was aware that this level is where I would leave a chunk of my soul forever. <laughs> okay, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I trigger that thing? We don't exactly need to get political here, but when Robtop created the Earth, he intended that all things come to an end. However, he did not foresee my buffed version of X-Step and the confusion its gameplay offers. But I did. Oh, yes! Yes! I, I, I cleared X-Step and now we're off to this. Next was Cluster F***, which, as the name implies, was a complete mess. The level includes mini game mode buffs, buffs to this ship part which is already completely impossible on its own according to 14 year old me who played it for the first time, and the mini ball had its mini portal removed so it was now big. Same thing goes for this next ship. The difficulty was only merciful at the end which was left unchanged, except for the inevitable triple spike. Now I hate this level so much that I tried to beat it as quickly as possible, resulting in this. I'm dead. I didn't die on a triple spike. Yes, I beat it. Yeah. My victory over Cluster allowed me to move on to the next level, the name for which I got by combining the original acronym and the word devil. It was the most unfunny thing recorded since Amy Schumer's debut, but my friends for some reason still laughed like a donkey that overdosed on ketchup. <laughs> 
Devil's Toes, despite its name literally contradicting its idea, was on the more difficult end of the spectrum. It featured one of the hardest ships and one of the hardest UFOs in the whole speedrun, and I needed to be prepared. This time, the ending was not difficult, rather merciful as a change of pace. Also, what the hell are my friends doing? God bless you. Dude almost dies and you go, bless you. Devil's Toes was particularly annoying because the beginning part was also the hardest, and nothing is more annoying than constantly dying at the beginning, other than, of course, passing the beginning and dying right after. Oh. I freaking forgot how to play Devil's Toes. Perseverance was the key motive here, and thanks to it, I managed to die at the UFO part. Nah! Twice. And 22 minutes after taking on it, Devil's Toes were buried. I just beat Devil's Toes. I just beat Devil's Toes. Yes! Okay, okay. Electro Devil. <laughs> Electro Devil marked the last stop before I would face an actual demon level, so I needed to make it difficult. It included features like this super tight ship part, a lot of unnecessary extra clicks, much less free space to fly around, and obviously a triple spike at the end. I have no idea how to tell you this, but I actually managed to beat this level without any significant fails. My worst death was actually at 39. I, I suck. After that, nothing in the entire level stopped me. Nothing. Somehow, not even the triple spike at the end. Oh, yes! Let's run. Wait, was that from zero? Yes, that's from zero. <laughs> <laughs> and as I was approaching the 4 hour mark, it was time to take on Club Step. Well, under a different name. The thing is, the whole premise of this challenge is that every Rob Top level is as hard as a demon, and Club Step is already a demon, so I didn't need to change it at all. This challenge was so difficult that Club Step, one of the hardest Rob Top levels, literally served as a break from all the difficulty. I beat it first try and moved on to Electrodynamics, which was also unchanged, because Electrodynamics is as hard as a demon. I beat Electrodynamics on the first attempt, and it was time to return to the difficult side of the speedrun, Devil Force. I put specific effort into this one because it's my favorite main level. Hexagon Force has a lot of ship parts, so I took that opportunity to apply some creative buffs to each one of them. And of course I made the last one especially difficult, but I didn't mind that. Hexagon Force is my favorite level, so I was ready to face it. Huh? Ah, uh, biscuits. <laughs> no, no, no! No! What did I do? I, I, for, I forgot that was there. <laughs> Four hours of constant focusing started to show its weight, so from time to time I died at a place I would otherwise never die to. <laughs> but no matter how long I would have to spend on Devil Force, I absolutely love the level, and that feeling can outmatch every difficulty. I'm king of this hell! Yes! <laughs> Even though I was extremely happy I beat Devil Force, I had to shift my focus onto the next level, Devil Processing. The original Rob Top level is a very easy one, so naturally I had to apply a lot of buffs, completely changing the gameplay in the process, and I didn't forget the triple spike at the end. I was on a very good streak, managing to complete every level in a relatively short amount of time, but this one put a stop to that and slammed it in my face. I forgot that I have to buffer that and not delay. I thought you were smart enough. Never mind. What? What? I died at 90%. I was cursed into a 30 minute struggle, dying at every place possible. But finally, after six deaths at the end, I managed to not crash into the triple spike and completed devil processing. Oh yes, I beat it! I didn't die to the last triple somehow. Time for more freaking toes. More freaking toes stands for theory of everything too. Another demon level, which means another break from the difficulty. After this, I would only have one more of those, which is deadlocked. I beat the level in one attempt and moved on. And now we're off to the absolute worst level in this whole series. This is the worst one. And I was not kidding. This level adds moving objects, which means I was able to make a lot more buffs, add spikes everywhere, but the highlight of this level was this dark part from which I removed all indicators so I had to memorize every click in pure darkness by heart. And this straight fly at the end did not help at all. I really needed to concentrate to beat this, but four and a half hours in, I had little of that remaining. Oh. Damn it. Why do you not go down? Because I don't know how physics work. For 15 minutes, I did nothing but practice the level, mostly the dark part. And when I finally reached it in normal mode, it was showtime, because I knew that if I died there, my judgmental friends would never forgive me.
Yes. Yes. Yes, I fluked it. That was the last one that was actually difficult. Yes. <laughs> Beating Deadlocked was not difficult at all, because I used to do it every day as a warm-up when I still played hard levels. I beat it in one attempt and prepared to face the final challenge of the speedrun that would determine everything, Finger Devil. This was the last level I needed to beat in order to finally earn my freedom and leave this challenge behind. I was at the end, I was five hours in, and I was exhausted. Finger Dash is hard. Like, it's not easy to the point where I could neglect it, but it is the last level, and then I'm free. <laughs> Finger Devil was the last level, so I needed to make it extra challenging. I added spikes sprouting out in the spider part, extra spikes to the robot and the wave part, whatever the hell this is, and obviously who could forget the iconic triple spike at the end. This was the ultimate challenge for me to prove myself as a true Geometry Dash prodigy. Well, f you, I'm nerfing this. For scale, it took me 20 entire minutes just to reach the drop one time. But when I did, I was sure to do a good job and not crashing in the rest of the level. And somehow, I managed to beat Finger Devil without- No, dude, no! I was almost there. <laughs> f this level, don't like it. I forgot it! No, f off. 30 minutes after starting up Finger Devil, I was at the end of it. I was at the last triple spike. This was the breaking moment. All this time, all this effort, the end of it was all right there, right in front of me. And so, I jumped. Okay, okay. Sure, sure, dude, sure. No, screw that. It could have been over right there. My faith was shattered. My motivation entangled. My will banished into a sad reality where I felt like I would never feel joy again. But the speedrun was not over, so I tried once more. Any further and I would have been forced to give it all up. And somehow, I was at that last triple spike again. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> And that was when I called it time. In 5 hours, 38 minutes and 8 seconds, I completed all ropped up levels, buffed to at least the demon difficulty. So now we all know that if Geometry Dash was consistent on how hard it is through the whole game, we would have a lot less patience and the game would have a lot less players. After completing my quest, I sat on the bed and thought of my actions, knowing that there was 6 hours of footage that I needed to edit. Alias, I beat Hypersonic.